Boys, girls, cats, squirrels, what is going on? My name is Ice Alfie, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Pearl Hardcore Nuzlocke. We are here with episode four, if I'm not mistaken, and why am I not moving? We can move and talk, that's how we work. But yeah, it's episode four, and I already forgot to do something because I messed up last episode. There's not really going to be a penalty because a penalty penalty uh, penalty because it's such a weak Pokemon. But I'm forgetting who said it. Who said it? Oh my god, I completely forget who was the one that notified me. But somebody notified me in the last episode that we cheated all episode long, kinda. I mean, it it helped in catching up one Mon. Now, would we have caught that Mon without it? Probably. I think so. Uh, but, um, who was it? Where is it? I'm trying to look for it. I'm trying to look for it. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, Clay Petrie. Clay Petrie said, didn't Igglybuff die on the last episode? Why are you still using it? And yes, Clay. Igglybuff did die on the last episode. Why am I still using it even right now? Um... I forgot I forgot this is one of my first uh, series here on YouTube that I'm not bulk recording episodes actually just in general my first series really that I'm not bulking two or three episodes at a time even my collaborative series are always if like it's me and West we always do two videos at least a week together um, well for the for the cage lock the four-way cage lock um, the sorry the soul link cage lock 2v2 soul link cage lock we would record four episodes in a sitting like it was just that's how it worked so now that i'm not it's weird because there's more room to make lots and lots of mistakes so i'm sorry i will try to get better at it but there was an issue with that one also i'm sorry if the audio just changed a little I realize that I'm a lot further away from my mic than I usually am. Um, so I might have been talking a lot low there. So I'm really hoping that doesn't mess anything up. But yeah. So thank you, Clay Petrie, uh, for that notice. And because of that, I'm also going to name the next Pokemon after you for notifying me that we messed up. Big time. We're going to go release that Pokemon right now, by the way, so I don't uh, do it again. Because <laughs> I uh, I don't want to deal with that again. Uh, am I storing them? I forget. No, I'm releasing them. Okay. So bye-bye, Igglypuff. Um, yeah. On top of it, in the last episode, I was talking about how cool it would be to get like a Wigglytuff. Uh, I was talking about how we really wanted to involve that thing. And now we're here. Because I am an idiot and completely forgot. But in other news, uh, today we should be taking on the gym leader. I'm really hoping we could. Um, if we don't, we will be getting a lot of encounters, that's for sure. Because uh, we do have a lot of available encounters. Since we don't have Igglybuff in front, I might want to switch it up and put uh, Lunar in front to get some levels up on Lunar. Because um, we need it. We need some more diverse mons. Right now, we're really relying on Chomper and uh, Chomper and Noah, which isn't bad. It's not bad, but uh, I don't want to just two mon run this entire this entire game. That's not how I play. Who has Sandstream? We have Sandstream. Oh no, the float, the foe has Sandstream. Um, I got to swap. <laughs> but see, like right here, like I don't want to do it because like Chomper isn't super effective against this thing. Neither is Lucario. Uh, neither is Lunar, realistically. So, like, yeah. If we could have, like, four Mons at, like, the same level, and then just, like, two maybe beneath it, or if we could have all six at the same level, you know what? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed. Would not be opposed. But, yeah. It would just be, uh, it would just be fantastic. I don't know what else is going to be saying there. Sonic Boom. Well, thank God we two-shot you. 
Because Sonic Boom would two-shot us. And you're level 5, and you would be able to two-shot Noah. Sonic Boom is one of those broken moves at the beginning of the game, like Dragon Rage and stuff like that. Getting Dragon Rage really early on, really clutch. It's really clutch when that happens. Uh, just because it, it one-shots until, like, the second gym. And if it doesn't one-shot, it's doing tremendous work still. Uh, let's just speed this up. Like, this is going to be an easy kill. It's an easy kill. Just done. I didn't want to get an encounter. <laughs> um, we couldn't get away. There we go. Because there's an item down here and I want it. Lugia! A flame orb. Oh, not what I thought it would do. I thought that was like a flame plate for a second there. And I was like, ooh, that would be great for the Magmar. But no, it wouldn't. But this kill would be. Cherubi is absolutely fantastic for that. I'm going to turn down the game volume a little here. Just so I can speed up a bit more for like the battles. So like we can actually get a gym in this game. Because I kind of want to battle the gym today. And I also want to make sure that we're not going too slow of a pace here. Like, all I'm doing is training, realistically. I could be doing this off screen, but I'm showing you guys everything. And that's why we don't use speed up. Boy, did Karma hit me hard and fast there. Karma hit me hard and fast. Um, I don't even know what to say about that one. Don't know what to say about that one. Um, that was just so ridiculous. That was ridiculous. No, don't fight me. <sighs> Stop fighting me. What's with these mons? In other news, I am salty at my own actions. Um, I think that's some really great news. Absolutely. Um, in other news, we're going to start training up um, Rose Raid now that we lost our Magmar. From stupidity of using speed up. To train via trainers. Bye, Lunar. Sorry, Lunar. Uh, you know what's even worse? You know what's worse about losing Lunar today? Is that um, Lunar came up with my question of the day. So... As you guys know, we do question of the days every episode. And if you answer the question of the day down in the comments, um, you have a chance of being named, uh, having a Pokemon named after you. Sorry. Um, and if you want a different name, by the way, like you don't want it named after your username, let me know in that comment. Um, like, don't, don't think I'm going to remember from episode. Oh, in episode one, I answered the comment and I told you to name it. Um, Perry the Platypus. Like, I'm not going to remember that on episode 4 when I'm looking at episode 3's comment. Like, just, just like at the bottom, you just write like, P.S. also. Like, the nickname I want is this. Just a reminder type of thing. You don't have to write just a reminder, but like, P.S. the nickname. If you name a Pokemon after me, please name it this. Because I won't remember. I won't remember if there was a special nickname you wanted. By the way, we also get an encounter in this cave, so that's clutch. That's a trainer battle, not our encounter. I wish that was our encounter. Oh my god, do I wish that that was our encounter. Fun fact, I love, love Staraptor. Uh, Staraptor is probably my favorite Sinnoh Pokemon. Uh, which kind of leans into the question of the day. Kind of. Um, Lunar's question of the day was, 
if you were in i think she said the pokemon anime um but i'm just gonna go pokemon world if you were in the pokemon world where would your journey start if i'm not mistaken that was her question it was along the lines of that let me see if i can find the proper wording it wasn't last episode she said in episode two see i do go back I, I remember i remember stuff you say just i won't remember it all the time but something like this was something question of the day if you woke up in the poke if you woke up in pokemon where do you hope to be um so i'm gonna take this to mean if you woke up in the pokemon world where would you hope to be and i'm also gonna change it up a little i don't want to just know where would you like to be give me a story let me know what your story is what your pokemon journey is so me it's pretty obvious when you look at my mascot where i would hope to be and the only reason i would hope to be here are the pokemon um fun fact well let me say the where it would be first it would be the aloha region alola region sorry which is based off hawaii which is an absolutely beautiful place which is part of the reason too i've never been to hawaii but i've seen pictures and boy do i want to go um but the reason I would want to be in the Alola region if I woke up in the Pokemon world is because I would want to get my mascot, Rockruff. Rockruff and Lycanroc are two of my favorite Pokemon, in case you haven't noticed already. Like, it's not just, oh, I found them a cool mascot. No, they are my two favorite Pokemon. Um, just because they're a fast, hard-hitting rock type, rather than where rock is mostly looked as a defensive Mon hotspot when it's one of the worst defensive typings because it's weak to everything. And that's why they usually counter it by giving it like a great defensive stats. But I'm, I'm, if I'm one of the worst defensive typings, why do I give a shit about defensive stats? Just make me incredibly fast and incredibly hard hitting and give me decent moves, which there is no decent rock type moves like with good accuracy. This our encounter, by the way, uh, Do we have a way to status this thing? Because we, we ain't getting it if we can't status it. Mega Drain. Poison Sting. See if we can Poison Sting this thing. You know what? The bigger question is, is do you have Dragon Rage? Rayquaza. Gen 4. I don't want to get too hyped about this thing if it has... Um, if it has dragon rage because if it has dragon rage we're gonna have to run uh diamond and pearl it doesn't it doesn't let's go into noah noah's probably our best chance to uh tank hits and maybe dish a few oh we're gonna get back to the question of the day in a sec i just want to try to catch this one Uh, counter right that's special do i think a metal claw would kill no i'm wrong i thought dragon resisted metal either way i don't think there was any chance we were catching that so uh yeah i just don't think there was even the slightest chance we were catching that. I have to be careful of the Sandstream because the Sandstream is hurting me too. Uh, which isn't good. I really don't like that ability. Which is one thing that's making me not like the Roserade is because I really like the Roserade. Um, Roserade is a good Mon. It's just... Uh, it's just the sentry. But we got more encounters coming up, so that's really good. Uh, but back to the question of the day. Why would I want to be on Alola besides just Rockruff? Well, ooh, we got Metal Coat, Blue Shard, and Fresh Water here. Uh, Fresh Water is actually really clean. Uh, how many Pokeballs do I have, though? not enough i need to prioritize pokeballs right now 
Actually, wait, let's prioritize selling. You know what? I might regret this later on, but I'm going to sell that. And I'm going to sell this too. That'll allow me to get 10 more Pokeballs. Or 11, sure. We'll just buy 11. And uh, you know what? That's good for now. That's good for now. Uh, but yeah, Alola also has two of... Uh, well, one of my favorite starters being Rowlet, which evolves later on into Decidueye. Really love that. Why not? Trading for Wishcash. Now I wish we caught the Why Not. <laughs> um, if you have no clue what I'm talking about, we actually ran away from a Why Not earlier um, as one of our encounters because I said it was going to be useless. And it was, but it would have been great trade fodder. Oh. Everything's coming full circle to bite me in the ass. We've got our Route 2 207 encounter here. It is going to be a slow bro. But yeah, the Alola region. Rowlet is one of my favorite encounter, uh, one of my favorite starters because of Decide UI. It's not my favorite starter, but it's one of my favorite starters, which is another reason why I would want to be there. However, it does have my least favorite regional bird being two cannon. Brandon, think. Think salty. You're tanky, slow bro. I would really like to say I just did that on purpose, but I didn't. But yeah, one of my... It, it has both my least favorite regional rat being Young Goose and Gumshoes and regional bird being Toucanon. Literally, I'm only going to Alola for Lycanroc, realistically, because um, even... Um, I don't even like the trial system. The trial system was cool for one game. Sun and Moon, cool. Ultra Sun and Moon. They teased gyms throughout all of Sun and Moon. Why didn't you bring back gyms for Ultra Sun and Moon? It would have been so much cooler than uh, just bringing trials back again. Um, it would have been cooler. Like, you literally had an entire trial around being a gym and making you go fight all the trial captains as if it were a gym. Why couldn't you just make it a gym? So, um, that would be my journey. My journey in the Aloha region, Alola region would be to um create the first ever pokemon league which is the entire plot of pokemon sun and moon however i wouldn't just be going around and then oh at the end it would be like oh the pokemon league is created no i'd be going i'd be like part of the pokemon league um going from going across the region scouting out gym leaders and then like the end game would be all the gym leaders have been decided and you have to go back and battle them all you're looking for worthy trainers to be the new gym leaders. And once the eight have been chosen, you go and battle them all in an attempt to be the first ever champion. That would be, that would be my, um, that would be my journey in the Alola region. And I think that's a really cool journey. And if you want to take it one step further, guys, you can also tell me what would your Pokemon team be. And um, let's talk about mine, I guess. Well, obviously, I would need a Lycanroc, but I need a starter. I need a starter. And obviously, my starter is going to be Rowlet into Decidueye. In this version of Alola, there is no Z-Crystals. We're bringing back Megas. And uh, we'll, I, I feel like Decidueye needs a Mega. Wow, our first ever encounter in this uh, mine. <gasps> Angel! Angel's back! I need this thing. I need it, I need it, I need it. Mega Drain won't kill. Uh, like, it literally won't. But it also does do a lot, um, which isn't good. I just got to start throwing balls now. Um, if I get too low, I swap. That's all. That's all. One, 
two, three. Cha ching. Angel the Baneri has been caught. And I gotta nickname this thing Angel because like people were loving Angel in the Alpha Sapphire series over on my TikTok. When I caught an angel, everybody loved it, besides that it's a <clears throat> like the biggest thoughty in Pokemon. Um It's literally a Pokemon thoughty, essentially. Um, but yeah, everybody just loved it. And a lot of people really enjoyed the name Angel. I got a lot of comments being like, oh my God, my favorite Pokemon. And that's my name or like my nickname. So Angel the Baneri is back again on the squad. We got to check this thing out. What does this thing got for us? That animation for like the monster showing up on the thing is so cool. I only just realized that. Marvel scale, boost defense if there is a status problem. Okay. Pound defense, curl, foresight, and endure. Do we have a TM we could teach you? Do you even have any good TMs? No, we have Rock Smash. Right, I forgot about that. All of our TMs have been shit so far. Um, what am I getting here? Oh, it's the Murkrow that killed our freaking Magmar. fantastic but yeah let me know what your teams are too like my team would definitely be the lichen rock i would get the decide you what um i would really hope in this time period that we'd have megas back instead of z crystals uh but either way i'm just gonna ignore them all anyways um i would eventually get a litten this litten would re evolve into a tour cat pretty quickly and remain a tour cat for quite a while before evolving into incineroar not because that it's not powerful um, as a Torcat, and it wasn't getting trained properly, just it enjoyed being a Torcat, uh, because I actually prefer Torcat over Incineroar, but I also would want my Pokemon to be fully evolved, um, so, uh, I would get an Incineroar eventually, but I would have my fun while for a Torcat, where it would actually be the opposite with Rowlet and Dartrix, Rowlet would be a Rowlet for a little bit longer, and it wouldn't be a Dartrix for long, once becoming a Dartrix, it would be motivated more than ever. Once evolving for the first time, it would be motivated more than ever to evolve uh, once again and would evolve into Decide Decide Shui. Especially being my partner Pokemon and thriving to bring us to greatness. My last two Pokemon now. My last three, actually. We only have three. Um, my next one would be Alolan Sandslash. Sorry, not Sandslash. Ninetales. Alolan Ninetales, my favorite Alolan form. Uh, fun fact, Alolan Ninetales is just absolutely sick. It's just so cool. Fairy Ice type, great combination. Um, when Fairy came out, I was actually really surprised that Ninetales didn't get the Fairy typing. So I absolutely think it's just absolutely perfect. Here's the issue, though. This isn't going to one-shot. Let's detect first. Maybe it won't go for a dragon range. No, it just goes for dragon range. Um... We're going to have to get one hit off, sack something, and bring in Fraligator. Horse Palm. Oh, no, we won't. We won't have to sack anything. We definitely won't have to sack anything because we're faster. It got a crit, though. Nobody gets hit by the Sandstorm, though. And Force Palm again. And this should kill. Thank God. Wow, we've been going for 25 minutes. Is this trainer over? What did I just do? For those wondering why I'm panicking, Rourke's highest level is level 14. 
Lucario is now over leveled, which means we cannot use him for the gym fight. We can't, we can't use him anymore. That's not good. I'm going to have to train up my team in between recording sessions. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Before I wrap it up right here, let me talk about the fu my final team. It would be Sajuai. It would be Incineroar. It would be Lycanroc. Lycanroc midday, by the way, not dusk. Midday. Who knows? Maybe we didn't even have like a new Lycanroc dawn form, which would be the only Lycanroc with a different typing, which would be rock ice typing. Uh, and that's my mascot. If you didn't know, it's an ice type Lycanroc. So would it be rock ice or would it just be a pure ice? Uh, because it evolves in the colder time. It would be Lycanroc dawn. So it's in the morning. Like, like Lycanroc dusk, uh, initially when it came out, it evolved between 7 p.m. and 8 a.m. I would evolve between 7 p uh, 7 a.m. Sorry. Dusk evolved 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Dawn would be 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. If, just saying if, that would be my fan thing. Um, but yeah, that. Alolan Ninetales. I would go with two ice typings. I'll figure it out. I'll go with two ice typings. And it would work because my Lycanroc would actually get Slush Rush as one of its one of its things. It would get both Slush Rush and Sand Rush. That would be its thing with Tough Claws being its, um, its hidden. I think that would be cool. My last two, coming in for my last two. I do like Komoo. So maybe Komoo. Since I'm in the Alola region, I'm sticking to a native Alolan Pokemon. So I'd go with Komoo. And last but not least. Ooh. Last but not least. I don't know. Oh, last but not least, I would go with Araquanid. We need a good water type, and I love Araquanid. Uh, I actually like Araquanid more than um, Wimpod's Evolution. I can't remember the name. Can't remember the name, but I actually like him more. But that's great for this one, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please answer the question of the day. If you woke up in the Pokemon world, where would you be? Like, where would your journey start? What would your journey, like the goal of your journey be? Mine would be to become a Pokemon Master, but my initial journey would be to create Alola's first ever Pokemon League. And I'd be scouting down the gym leaders for the Pokemon League. And what would your team be? I know it's a bloated question. You don't have to answer it all. You could just answer me what region would it be, what region would you start in, and what would your hometown be. But if you're like me and like to be like to storytell and like to be creative, write me a story. I'll read it. I'll take time. I'll read it for sure. That's it for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay salty.